Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Ba'akadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. And Shalom to those who are sincerely seeking this truth. And once again, uh, it's the GMS Italy and the GMS Germany. And all praises to the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai for making it possible that we gathered here to break bread together. You know, it's been a beautiful week, a uh, very edifying week. And, you know, we just wanted to share a few of our, of our, of our discussion, a few of, our, of the bread we actually broke together. And uh, actually in this lesson, we're going to be speaking of how this earth is actually a paradise. But right now, it's been on the, the power of the wicked, you know, and actually it being cursed. The earth is actually totally out of curse, uh, out of curse. You know, it has uh, the, the, fund, the, the foundations are shifted, man. It's everything is backwards, you know. But at the return of our Mashayak, our Shai, the one with the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua and other names. You know, when he returns, he's going to put everything back into order. Okay. And um, at the end of the video, we're going to share the view that we have actually right at our front. A very beautiful view. And hey, we're actually high on the mountain and we can see cities. And it's really beautiful what the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshua has created. But you see, uh, what's that scriptures that um, man such um, different inventions? The book of Ecclesiastes. Most High has created man, um, man upright, but he seeketh different inventions. <laughs> In the book of Ecclesiastes, I believe. Inventions. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the book of Ecclesiastes 7 and 29. Lo, this only have I found that the Most High has man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. The Most High has made man upright, you know. He has created the, 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 the earth perfectly because if you read the book of Genesis, it tells you that um, after the creation of each thing, the Most High said he saw it and he said it was good. You know, but man is actually looking for all totally different kinds of inventions. We're trying to create our own world and cut the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai off the equation, which is madness. You know, and that's just like a, a axe boasting to its maker, um, 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 or a tree boasting to its uh, to, to to the man with the axe. You know, so hey, if you want to come in, um, and if we can also, you know, the scripture we actually spoke about the. the yeah, I have to. yeah, because um, when you when you travel, this is what the scriptures speak about. You know, a man gets experience and wisdom through ah. traveling. Because when you're only just in your own um, your zone, your zone, your own country, in your own box, you don't really your mind is not really open to the things that the Heavenly Father really created. You know, even your own country, like for example in Germany, there are so many things that you can actually um, experience. But to east as hell, you can you have no time for that shit, man. God. You have barely time and your vacation, you also try to regenerate. You don't want to be uh, traveling so much, but it's worth it, man. Oh, so lucky yeah. you said something that through Esau, you can barely do all this. And yeah. this is exactly what Esau wants. Esau wants to close you in a... He wants to make your homes your prison, man. You know? That's why they, they, they're creating these 15-minute cities. That's why they're creating these underground um, underground um, uh, houses for, to, for the masses and all that, you know? Esau is doing all this so you don't experience the beauty because just look, having just the sight of certain places of the world, how beautiful it is, is just going to take away your stress, man. Just by your sight, is just going to take away your stress. This is how beautiful and how powerful the creation of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is. And as the brother said, you know, traveling more, it still goes back to what we said um, in the scriptures. Uh, we spoke about taking good care of your body, the temple. You know, traveling is also part of, you know, an investment to, to your spirit, man. Because when you travel... You gain lots of um, experiences, you know. When you travel, you get to see your 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 your, your view, your 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 mindset gets to broaden, you know. You get to learn uh, a lot more about land, you know, how beautiful places the most I has created. You know, you see, the earth is not limited to the to the to the to the to the projects where we grew up, you know. The, the earth is not really limited to the projects, you know. The the earth is <laughs> and it's too vast. It's too vast, man. Yeah, man. And you know. This is actually our hope and our faith that, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to restore this kingdom back to us and we can enjoy this kingdom to the fullness, man. This, this kingdom is actual paradise. This is how it done. 
you know? I also got the word I done. Here the word I done, which is Eden, it says I done. It says Eden, pleasure. You know, when you go to the root word, or same, it says, um, luxury, dainty, delight, finery, delight. Delight, dainty. And then it says to the root word of that, which is H5. 5727 it says I done or it done it says to lux luxurate delight oneself and that's really what the earth is it's actually delight this should be actually a, a pleasure to live in that's why we call it paradise because in paradise you only have pleasure you know you don't have no worries mm -hmm. and that's really what it is what we have to really um, remind ourselves of because of course Easter brings to hell but actually this world this earth is created for us to live in paradise to live in peace and sometimes you have to or you should let me say it like that you should go out of your um, week to week or day to day um, life to experience um, nature nature itself is enough already if you just find a good spot in your near area like a beautiful lake or like we had before or here the mountains with the with the beautiful view it's already enough to also open and broaden your mind that lighting you up exactly area. it's like the it's like the heavenly father is um is showing you this is just a small glimpse of what i have for you and this motivates you and also strengthen your faith towards the kingdom because you want to live in that and rule that you want to experience it you want to have pleasure in that because right now we're in hell and trying to get a little bit of it a little bit of the beauty of this world but really we're going to experience that in the kingdom when you can travel without uh, without getting tired without restrictions you know without restrictions without paying money man we just have, we're just going to travel right now you have to, you know, this is why I said like this is hell because if you want to have a good travel, you 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 save up money for the travel, but then something else comes in. For example, your car breaks down, you have to fix up your car. The money for the travel is gone. You know, so this is why I'm saying you don't need to go to a different country. Just search in your own country. You know, your own cities, man. Your own cities, your own country. They're beautiful place. Believe me, man. Even where I live, it's a very uh, industrial place because Frankfurt is like a, a major financial industrial place. And I live uh, like 25 minutes away from it. Even there we have beautiful places, man. Or like one or two hours away from there we have beautiful places. But you have to find them, you have to search. And this is also a good thing to keep you away from the stress of this world. You know? Yeah, speak on. Yeah, yeah the brother gonna show you real quick the view. You know, that we have. I think you have to um, screw it a little bit. Yeah, the screw is weak. Verse 5 and 6. Okay. Yeah. That was just a little glimpse of what we're saying. Hope you could see it. And let me get this real quick. Uh, the book of Proverbs 29 and verse 2. So like you. Because there it says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Can't but I when actually the wicked about that. Rule, the people mourn. And that's what we have because we have actually a beautiful place. We have a beautiful. I, I was talking to the brother, you know, the brother Khalam. Um, and I said, like, hey, if I would be you, because he lives in the area here, I would be here two, three times a week, I think, man. <laughs> like on the weekend, I think I would come here like uh, like at the middle of the week and the end of the week just to relax, just to calm down from the stress of the, of the, of the world. Because right now, here, you can just really, your mind can really rest. And this is what you have to understand. We have so much hell that we don't even think about these things. We just think about, hey, we make, have to make the next paycheck. We have to make any more money. We have to get this, then, and third. But and sometimes, the month. exactly, sometimes you have to calm down. Sometimes you just need to take time for yourself. Like we was talking to the other brother. Um, he said, like, hey, I work all day, man. I need some time for myself, man. You know? And this is really what you have to realize because you, re you also need to regenerate. As you have to regenerate your, 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 your battery of your phone, you have to regenerate, man. You know, and these places are beautiful to gain energy again, man. To get motivation again, because you're like, sometimes you think like, why am I doing all this, man? For what, for what am I living? And then places like that, like back there, you see the bird man flying. This reminds you like, hey, I do this to get actually peace, beauty and freedom, man. Because in the kingdom, we're going to be free. From all the hardcore bondage, from all the labor. God, you know, I remember... You know, we actually connected to this uh, to this world that the Most High Yahweh Shem Yashai created. You know, man came out of water, out of the rich dark soil under the water. You know, 
we're connected to the elements of this place so you're meant to you're meant to also you know connect connects to this to this idan that the most high has created even though it's defiled and now we have uh, we have a, a special tool to help us walk through this idan and filter it out which is the words of the most high yahweh psalm 119 and verse 9 you know yeah. Yeah. real quick there's a book of psalms 82 and verse um let me matter of fact let me set that down let me say verse one man that's what we're going into psalms 82 and 1 it says a psalm of uh, asaph it says the most high standeth in the congregation of the mighty he judges among the gods shows that we are gods how long will ye judge unjustly and accept the per uh, person of the wicked salah and you see that uh, the brother just said the most high judges you know even everything if it looks like the devils you know you read the scripture actually at the first that uh, when the wicked are in power the people mourn but well, people actually lost faith in the in faith in the Most High because you know um, a sentence is not given real quick. That's the book of uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes eight, eight yeah. eleventh verse. Yeah. You know because the Most High don't bring out judgment real quick. People already lost trust in the Most High that the Most High no longer rules because the wicked are in power. They do exactly what they want to do. You know, yeah. but believe that the Most High let all this all this be. And remember always that the wicked is actually a sword in the hands of the Most High. Yahweh Shemir Shai to chastise us as well. You know? Yeah, it's like it's um wait this is um Isaiah ten. God. I know Isaiah wait, ten and five. Yeah, Isaiah ten and five. It says, "O Assyria, in the rod of my anger, God. and the staff in the hand is my indignation." See, if it if it all never started that we went against the commandment of the Most High Yahweh Shemir Shai, if we hadn't ate of that fruit, which was the philosophies of the other nations, you know, would be good. Would would would, would though would be naive, but it's all the plans of the Most High Yahweh Shemir Shai, in order for us to learn either evil and to know how to, to ruling uh, to ruling good and also know? to appreciate righteousness also to, to appreciate uh, righteousness because if you don't know what uh, uh, evil is you can't know what good is yeah. if you don't know what sweet is you can't know what bitter is you know yeah. so it's all the most high running all this and the most high is still in power man don't let the, the don't let all this convince you you know the, the book of um daniel tells you that the most high gives the the, the, the the rulership to men he gives it also to the basest of men yeah. right now it's in the hand of the most basest man Esau Edom that's why we all catching all this hell yeah. but don't don't forget that this is always uh this is always I done this is this is a place of pleasure even in all this wickedness you know it takes not much you don't need too much to to, to you know to uh, to get that peace peace of mind that's pleasure you know it doesn't take too much, like the brother was saying. You don't need to travel to far away or whatever. Yeah. It doesn't take too much, man. You have to make research. Hey, the heaven fire gonna guide your spirit to find something. Man. God. For example, I was watching a video, right, of a fighter. It's like an interview of his life. Hey, he showed a, he showed an area, a beautiful lake, man. It was bigger than this back back here where we saw. It looked it just just what I saw in the video looked too peaceful, man. I was like, that's too good to be true. You know, y'all rather say when I'm back in Germany, I'm gonna check it out. But that's just to a one video that I watched. You know, I just was like, let me check out the spider. Because that's the gym that I want to join. And then I saw the video, I was like, that's crazy. So the Heavenly Father is going to give you what you need, man. But you just have to make the research. And, and also, another thing that I wanted to mention, because Isa always talks about this earth is too small for the people that we have. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, when you just look at this area, man, you know how... Psst, the brother showed you, man. I, I look at this area, man, you know how many millions of people could live here, man? All you need to do is just hop on a plane and you see how everywhere yeah. is just a desolate wilderness yeah. man exactly the people are all packed in these tiny cities and yeah. Esau does all this to get control of all the people yeah, yeah, you know yeah. that's Everyone. why you make sure uh, your best jobs are in the cities your best everything are in the cities yeah. just to take you out of this I done you know we are yeah. this is our wilderness right in front of us exactly. this is all a wilderness there is nobody living yeah. there's no the most I hey hey Esau is a devil man <laughs> so you know, the earth is too small. Yeah, what too the small. fuck? What are talking about? Overpopulated, man. This and they also made. They shit. also did. Um, they also did. Um, what do you call it? They did a calculation. Yeah. Um, a sort of documentary, and they they actually you can actually fit all the population of the earth into Texas, each person having a, a one-story building yeah. with a garden with big space next to your neighbor. You know. Mm -hmm. Everybody, uh, all the amount of people, I think we are about 9 billion or so, oh, you know, no. all the amount of the earth is going to live in Texas and still have extra space, okay? Oh. So, Esau telling you that we overpopulated, that's 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 a lie from the gates of hell, man. Oh. So, going back, Psalms 82 and verse 3. Yeah. You can take uh, I 
Isaiah's chapter 24, yeah. verse 5 and 6. So you said 4, right? Before 24, 24. 5 and 6. Uh, no, no, but he said, uh, he told me before. Let me say verse, um, let me say verse 4. It says, Isaiah 24 and 4 says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away, the word languishes and fadeth away. The hearted people on the earth do languish. Yeah, the, the earth is actually uh, fading away, in which we're going to get there also in the book of um, um, Psalm, the 82nd chapter, yeah. you know. Yeah. So let's save what we're going to say. Let's save it for, for that. But yeah. the, earth, the earth is fading away, man. The earth is no longer giving its yield, you know. Now we need we need fertilizers. We need chemicals to grow our food, man. This is a curse, man. But why is that? Because Esau's in rulership. Because he broke the land Sabbath. Can, he broke to the land that, Sabbath to that, uh, yeah. to that the world is uh, slowly but surely, uh, what is it? Um, getting destructive, man. Huh. The strength of the earth is fading away. Yeah, because Esau is just um, not keeping the land Sabbath. He's not keeping the word of the Lord. He's not keeping the word of the Lord, and to that, the word is in a, is, is in a, a morning, man. The word language, the tree language, man, the earth language, the nature in the languages, man. This is really what it is. There are actually um, laws that govern uh, the nature, yeah. that governs the elements, and if you break those laws, man. It's like you're breaking the code of this element, you know. They yeah. don't give you their full yield. And this uh, is why also Heavenly Father kicked out the land, uh, the Canaanites of the land of Canaan. Can. And gave it to us because it was wicked. So this is why the Heavenly Father also going to kick out Esau. Because he's wicked. But it says Isaiah 24 and 5, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because yeah, they, it's defiled under the great. inhabitants as well. Because yeah. the inhabit inhabitants are all out of, out of, uh, out of control, man. Yeah. They're all out of course, yeah. you know. Uh, we, we were walking up here. Earlier, there is just like a grove, man. I never seen something like that. I seen something like that. It's normal here in Italy, but that much I've never seen. I've never seen that much. Yeah. In each grove, you know, you had people putting their idols, man. Yeah. Everyone is defiled as well, man. And and even if you look just in front of us, you see that the people even defile like a beautiful place like that with the cigarettes, Can't. the plastic, Can't. with the, the trash, plastic and everything. You know, so this world really needs a change of power, man, to be really eaten again, because what we see right now is just like. So even I don't think it's not even like one percent of the of the full capacity of this earth, man. You know, we are already amazed at the, at the trees and the beauty of, but you have to understand everything is defiled. So the also, trees, the trees don't even have the normal colors. That's no what I'm more, saying. You know, so, there are no beautiful flowers. So yet, think know. about it. So now, if the pollution be taken away, and the earth, the air is how it's supposed to be, the tree is going to be so how it's supposed to be. How beautiful is the earth going to be, man? We're going to see things that we never experienced before, like it uh. says in First Corinthians two and nine, the Heavenly Father. You know what he has prepared for us and that not into the mind of men right. but to finish it off because it's exactly to what we said it's just a precept to back it up isaiah 24 and 5 the earth also is fight under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws they have changed the ordinances, the laws. changed the ordinances broken the everlasting covenant can esau esau has told you that the bible was written by man you're not meant to follow these laws you know and esau has created all different kinds of laws now it's trying to genetically modify the seeds and trees and create everything, you know, all totally out of course, man. You know, how, how do you think, how do you think, as I said, you see, this is an ecosystem. And when you speak about ecosystem, it's spiritual, man, because everything works together with everything. The animals, the men, you know, the, the, the beast, the trees and all, it's an ecosystem. They, they all need to function in a certain direction to make it live in a beautiful, harmonious way, the way the Most High has created it. But if man is out of uh, is out of order, then you see the plants don't don't they, they don't they don't correspond with man. Even the beasts they don't correspond with man because you know it's just like your car. If you got uh if you got uh what do you call it the, the, the water pump? If the water pump is not working well, the rest of the car is gonna be messed up. If you like if you don't if you don't if you want or you don't want you know. So if uh, if a, it's all a body, it's an ecosystem, man. It's a system that the most has created. A system is a is a, is a uh, is an amalgamation of, uh, of of systems together they all work together to to make the, the the thing move you know then if one body is not okay then the rest of the system don't move well if man is corrupt if man is not following the laws of the most high yah if man is not respecting the, the the shabbat of the land like the brother said if man is not ex uh, is not is not respecting um, um what do you call it um 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 how to how to how to maintain the water taking out all the animals that filter the water you know the water becomes dirty and all that you know if man is not respecting all this man is even purposely spraying spraying barium barium on on, 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 on the earth spraying all different kinds of chemical you know everything is going to everything is going to be destroyed man you know that's why going back to the initial scripture 
um, you know, when the week, when the weekend are in power, the people mourn. You know, not only the people mourn, the plants, the beast, they all mourning, man. Isaiah twenty four and verse six it says, "Therefore, no way it's like that, John. No, but I, I think it can um, all start uh, um, in accord uh, with the prophecy of Moshe. Of Moshe of Yehovah, course, Shnei, it's supposed to happen um, because in Daniel chapter seven verse twenty three, uh, the the four beast um, have a this um, a questo compito. They yeah. have this assignment." Yeah, uh, and start uh, job, and yeah. starts for in, uh, in this time when when Iso uh, go to uh, command to the command uh, command um, okay, have a power in this uh, in this kingdom uh, and uh, and uh, if you hey se, se lo puoi prendere Baba ah, if, if you, you say you can the, take the book of uh, Daniel yeah let me just finish it okay get Daniel. Okay. we'll get the Daniel yeah. uh, this is Isaiah twenty four and verse uh, six. Therefore has to curse, devour the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. Alright, so the, 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 there is a curse on the earth right now. Just like the Most High laid a curse after Cain spilled the blood of his brother. You know, say, so yeah, caused to be uh, the ground that opened its mouth and take out the blood now. Try to think how much blood is being shed on a daily basis in this kingdom, you know. And you can't clean you can't clean the land but by the same blood that's being shed yeah. you know and uh i think this curse is really referring to the to the what is it missiles because that's what's gonna missiles, what's right. gonna cleanse the earth because this earth needs a cleansing yeah the blood okay. you know because it said at the end uh what is it um the, uh, the inhabitants of the earth are burnt God. and that's the missiles man burn because when you go into isaiah 24 it speaks about the destruction of america God. you know so you have to understand that all that we see Mainly America and also other places around the world are going to be hit with the with the with the curse, you know, which is the fire, which are the missiles that going to rain down from heaven. Why that the heavenly Father can restore Eden to his true power? Because all part of prophecy, the earth. Actually, when you think about it, it's really like a strike cycle that the heavenly Father put in there. He because he had the righteous ruling for a time, and then he set the wicked up again, let the earth get defiled, and now he's going to cleanse the earth again, like in the time of Noah, to establish it, the beauty thereof. You know. Because you have to understand, in the time of Adam, Adam didn't have to work. But because he ate, he just grasped the word of the Lord, this is when he started to um, put the work into the soil of the ground. He said like, hey, we're sweating, man. We're sweating, you're going to reach, reach the benefits of you of the ground. Before that, he didn't have to do anything. The, yeah. earth, the earth actually had, um, what do you call it? Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the dew came out of the earth and watered yeah, the yeah. ground, you know. The, the ground there was, was no rain. and everything was... He you know, didn't have to out beautiful. Like we have to work hard to get to a little bit of fruit. He didn't have to walk. We'll the attention. The, the fruits are all there. You know, Yo, he was walking. Out. Book fruits there. Da, 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 da. That's what it was, man. So you have to understand the curse going to be broken. Also the curse of Adam. Why? Because he received a stony heart. You know. Adam received a stony heart, but his heart going to be changed into a heart of flesh. Um, you know. That's what's going to happen. Sure, we might have thirty-one and thirty-one. Yeah, exactly. So now let me get real quick to preach for the brother. Daniel chapter 7 verse 23 he said, right? Daniel 7 23 says, This he saith, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth, upon earth which shall be diverse from all kingdoms. And that's speaking about Esau Edom, you know? And Esau Edom actually go into power starting from um, from the chest of um of, from the chest of uh, from the um from the belly and the tie of um of bronze by by the way of um Alexander the the Greek, you know. That's when these devils got into power. Then the letter transformed to the third kingdom, which is uh, the iron, the ties of iron, which were the, the so-called Romans, okay? In which they were not the original Romans. Oh, you mean the fourth kingdom? The, that's, that's the third kingdom. No, no, fourth, so the fourth kingdom. The Babylonians, Babylon, the Persians, the Greek. Okay, can't, can't, and like then the Romans. Yeah. Then, then the fifth kingdom is the kingdom that we're actually living in. Yeah, this is what we say is always revised Roman Empire because we're still in the same kingdom. Can't. We're still in the same kingdom as in the fourth because what? Part of iron, part of clay. Part of clay, can't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, the man. point is the situation of the, of the earth oh, yeah. in. Uh, I didn't finish it. The yeah. point which you want to speak is comes. Okay. Verse twenty three says, "And shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down, and break it in pieces." Right. Yeah. Shall devour the whole earth, yeah. tread it down, and break it into pieces. Devour yeah. the earth with his laws. Devour the earth with uh, with with his uh, with his taxation and all his wickedness that he's doing right now. You know. Yeah. 
the earth is being devoured by the by the wicked that's ruling you know yeah the actual situation is uh, in accord to the prophecy see si. the the, sit the aqua the actual situation of the earth of the his aidan is uh, in accord to ah, and that is going to break the earth you know yeah, yeah. This is and, why, yeah, and the Iso, Esau, Idom is the Elatetic, you know, the which is for is the Smith. Iso is in the power today, yet the, the earth uh, yeah. today is uh, is uh, in this situation. And um, if you if you can take up Baba Kasha, uh, Jeremiah chapter um, 51, oh, 25, 25, see, destroying mountain. Because in accord, uh, you, we understand that this is the, the, the end of this kingdom, the end of the, okay. the kingdom of uh, Iso has start the end of the world of uh, Iso has start the world of Jacob. See, si. that's how um, Second Ezra six and nine. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, this is Jeremiah fifty one and verse twenty five, and it says, "Behold, I am against you, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord Yahweh, which destroyeth all the earth." And will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks yeah. and will make thee a burnt mountain and that's esau esau destroys the world man esau is es oh damn man <laughs> don't even think about esau 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 guy is um what do you call it he's alchemist this demons and his warlocks you know they sit in you know in some 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 strictly strictly um secret um laboratories you know thinking of how to 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 make new cells and create new humans and you know and create new viruses and create new this and that you know this is this is what is all does man mm -hmm. it's the one that destroys the whole earth now I, the other day i heard that uh, that, that man whose name is the the, the the field the gates of all that you know the hell and all that i mean hell gates you know the hell gates you know Hell of gates, the hell of gates, you know. <laughs> I heard that the, the, gates, dude, of hell, the like... gates of hell, you know. <laughs> the dude actually um, invested so much in creating this, um, what do you call it, um, bionic, um, what do you call it, bionic mosquitoes, mm -hmm. and they spread these oh, yeah. mosquitoes in, uh, in South America. Yeah. These mosquitoes are actually killing uh, the natural mosquitoes, and, and uh, this is this is what they do, man. They can re reproduce. They reproduce, and because you... they because I've read it also. There was like. Um, he he has the, the 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 artificial ones, you know, the GMO mosquitoes, um, sleep with the normal mosquitoes. Normal ones, yeah. But the, the the children of them can't reproduce. Can't reproduce. He so. actually, uh, what is it? Uh, make them extinct. He extinct. Them. In which um, those mosquitoes are needed for the ecosystem. They mm -hmm. have their they have their utility to That's the ecosystem. Yeah. Every, every, everything, everything is, is a job, man. Huh? You, you think about the small bugs that you don't even see. You know, when you just kick on a rock, man, you see yeah, the small box. part of the ecosystem. Everything has a reason, man. We have also a reason to be on this earth, man, which is to rule this earth. And that's it. And Esau is, just imagine, how he's killing the mosquitoes and all that. He yeah. wants to kill, he wants to reduce the population as well. Yeah, man. You know? This is why, why do you think so many females can't get children out of a stutter, man? Even to the juices, man, to the um, vaccinations. A lot of them said, like, they can't get children Yeah, anymore, they can't man. get They're all sterilized, mm -hmm. man. Exactly. Got another scripture also? Uh, Ezekiel chapter 35 uh -huh. and verse 14. Done. Uh, let me read this real quick. Revelation 11 and 18. The nations were angry, and their wrath has come, and the time of the dead they, sh they shall be judged. And thou shouldest give reward unto the servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Uh -huh. You see that? So the Heavenly Father is going to reward his men. When the time is right, when he's gonna come back with Yahweh Shai, and as soon as simultaneously as he saves us, he's gonna destroy the destroy of the earth, which is Esau. You know, because the time has come that the earth is is released from his prison, man. Because Esau put a prison upon this earth, man. He put a prison upon the people, upon the animal. We just saw a beautiful deer, man. Yo, beautiful deer, walking around. Yeah. He was he was amazed. Oh shit. But that should be the norm that we with the that should be the norm man. that should be the norm that the children grow grow, grow up among the oh, animals goodness. because think about it man in the time of noah these the, all these animals was obeying us man you know in the time of noah was still there they had they wish they feared us we didn't fear the animals the animals feared us and you know the animals and the people were bigger this time so they had big as motherfuckers walking around there you know big as animals so that's what we're working towards that's why we're fighting this fight man to be part of their glory and that's why that's mm -hmm. why we warn y'all, you know, um, knowing the the terrors of the Most High Yahweh Shai, you know, 
because uh, that's why we persuade you man to repent you know yeah. and, and, and know what you're doing because when the most high comes it doesn't matter if you're israelite it doesn't matter what nation you are if you're going to be destroyed with the wicked you're going to be destroyed with the wicked the only the only israelites that are going to be saved are the israelite that have the mark of the exemption the tawa you know yeah. those are the people that have you know taken uh um taking the name of the most high yahweh shimi Shai, cherished it and done the work you know with all sincerity you know yeah i got uh he got the scripture from Khalam also preached it. um Ezekiel, 30, 35 and, 35 and 15. Uh, see, see, i got it could let me let me read the scripture for me and then i'm gonna read yours because it goes hand in hand isaiah 14 and um seven uh yeah but I re let me re let me read the verse of 16. Isaiah 14 16. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and that did shake kingdoms, that made the whole world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof and opened not the house of his prisoners? And, and that that's that's already actually you know little by little started man because yeah. people already pointing fingers at Esau, yeah. you know. But the major blow is coming from the from Yahweh Shai when it comes. Yeah. And at that time Esau was going to be put down, and people are just going to look like man, this is that man you know that makes the whole world a, 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 a wilderness. See. If Esau comes to you with his democracy and you don't receive that shit, it turns your country to a wilderness, man. Yeah. You know, he, he rains them bombs. Take a look at Afghanistan. Take a look at uh, um, Iraq. Take a look at Iran, take, take, a, take a look at uh, Africa, Syria, Syria, you know, Esau is behind every damn wall. There is a chart on the internet just by how many, how many bombs the United States, you know, the Babylon, you know, they've dropped on the world, you know. These are the destroyers of the world and people are beginning to see that, people are beginning to see that, you know. And that's, that goes into the, the prophecy that um, 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 all, all, all his secrets is going to be revealed, man. His is is going to be made bare. It's being made bare right now, you know. Yeah. Um, Isaiah 14 and let me start at verse seven. It says, or oh, let me start at verse uh, five. The Lord, Yahweh, has broken the staff of the wicked, the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. God, the whole earth is going to be at peace when Esau goes down. Yeah. And that's why uh, Yahweh Shai tells you to pray for the kingdom of heaven to come. Yeah. You can't get, this is not your rest, as the book of Jeremiah 51 says, you know, depart ye away from all, this is not your rest. I'm Micah 2. Uh, Micah 2. Take a turn. Okay. This is not your rest, yeah. you know. You're going to get rest in the kingdom when Yahweh Shai comes. How can you get rest in this place where, where you can barely make it to the end of the month? You're already thinking of your next rent. You're already thinking of how much you, you, you how much food you're gonna eat. You're already thinking of uh, of how to how to dress and all that. You know, this is not your rest. That's why you need to pray for the kingdom of heaven to come, and pray that the kingdom of heaven comes as quick as possible. Because the the longer we in this place, you know, the, the longer we fucked. You know, uh, verse eight. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon. Saying, since thou art laid down, no fella has come against us. And Khan, these trees are representing the nations, man. You yeah, know? It's like double fold. It's, it's literally it's also double fold, yeah. It's yeah. literally that, but yeah. you know, in more also, sense, representing the nations, yeah. you know. The nations, because no fella, which is Esau, come against them, but also the nature, man. Also the nature, because yeah. Esau is a fella, he falls exactly. the trees, you know. He, he, he like deforestation. Look at, look at the Amazon, what he did to them, man. Khan, Khan. You know? And um, to f I think we can round it up with that if you want to. Khan. Oh no, we still still finished the Psalms. Then let me read the Psalms and then I'll read the Ezekiel. He has nothing else. For my eyes were when I was sick, I came up to you and said, Should you go and execute the tradition of the Lord, which you have a man of Okay. Ezekiel 35? Ezekiel 35? Yeah, I got this one. Uh, I have this one. Uh, oh, oh, there. Huh? Oh, the first it is uh, Roman chapter 8, verse 22. Okay. And oh, the verse 19, somebody. Okay, you got anything else? Sir? No, no, that's okay. good. Psalms 82 and verse uh, 3. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do do justice to the, the afflicted and needy. Who are, the, who, are the, who, are the, who are the poor and fatherless? The sons of Israel, man. You know? We are, this, we are, the, we are the poor and fatherless because our father is Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The book of um, is it Amos 3. It tells you out of the fa all the families of the earth, you're the only one that I know. Doing one, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's only Israelites that our family is actually most of Yahweh Shai. But now, 
we are abandoned because we, we, we decided to follow the ways of the hidden, you know? So now the, 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 the rod of chastisement is actually upon us, you know? Yeah, exactly. Which is Esau, like the fella, God. the rod of correction. The rod of connect, correction, God. Yeah. God. Um, so like okay, going back, Psalms 82 and verse 4. Deliver the poor and needy, rid them off from off so like rid them out of the hand of the wicked. And the only person that can do that is Yahweh Shai. See. You know? That's the only person that can do that, Yahweh Shai. And that's one of the most important things in, in always honoring Yahweh Shai because you can't get to the Father without the Son. There is only one mediator between we and the Father. It's Yahweh Shai. We are filthy right now. We can't get to the Father in no way. You know, we're filthy, and we need someone to help us do that work. And that person is Yahweh Shai. Exactly. So unfortunately, some people don't regard Yahweh Shai, but you know, it's a curse unto them. Man. It's a curse unto them. Verse five: They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on, walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. You know, these people. You know, Esau, whatever he does, he believes he's doing good because that's how the Most High Yahweh Shai program program them. You know, he's the perfect devil. You know. Okay. And that's why you say that the whole earth is out of curse. We, all, we also said that everything is not, everything is out of order. As I said, men, are, men want to become women, women want to become men. Everything confused, man. You know, everything is out of order, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Ezekiel 35 and 14. This saith the Lord, Yahweh power. When the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. God. So, you know, it's all payback. It's all payback. There is a time for everything. There is a, every day is for the thief, but the day is coming for the owner. You know? Yeah. Right now we're living every day. It's the thief ruling. Yeah. But the day for the owner is coming, which is uh um the sons of Israel starting from our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, man, because the whole earth gonna break forth into this thing and rejoice and it's gonna be a great time of happiness when Esau gonna be taken out. But the but the heathen don't understand that yet. But they're ruling the kingdom. Like right. it says in Isaiah chapter two. In Micah chapter 4. Because then the heathen going to understand, oh, the law is going to come from the Heavenly Father, from the children of Israel. And then righteousness is going to be established because, like it says in Sarek chapter 10, when the wicked is in authority, then the, 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 the people under him are going to be also wicked. Why? Because if we have the wicked ruling, his govern, government is going to be wicked. And it's going to trickle down to the last scum of the earth. If the earth is sick, you the know? whole body is sick. Exactly. So this is what you have to understand. So... That's why we have to cut the snake at the head God. and put the line in its place, which is actually the Israelites leading with the child of Judah. And that's, this is spiritual, man, yeah. you know, because some Israelites are trying to hit the snake. Yeah. But what are they doing? They, they're hitting the snake from the tail. Yeah. And once that snake turns its back, it's going to bite you. You're talking about, you know, the, the what do you call it? The, the, the Islam followers and mm. all those people, you know, um, the, the, what do you call it? The Kemites and all those you're all trying to hit the, um, hit the snake from the tail. That's a foolish thing to do because yeah. you get the snake more angry. And once it turns back, it bites you with his fury and fucks you up, you know? Exactly. But the wise ones are going to wait for Yahweh Shai, who is the only one that has the strike to the head. Uh, he going to chop, he going to de decapitate one strike. <laughs> one strike. Damn, man. Romans 9, uh, 8 yeah. and verse 19. It says, Okay, if people want to go to 17, nine, eh? nine, nine, 19 to 23 and 23. See, the point, okay. okay, verse 19 says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the, for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. And that's it, man. You know, the, the, everything, you know, the, the, you see, this beast, they're actually in order. That's why the book of Ecclesiastes tells you that the spirit of, the, of man goes up to, up to the Most High and the spirit of the beast remain on the earth because the beast are actually in order, man. This beast, they're actually praying and waiting for the sons of God to come back to power. Also, the plants and the, the earth itself is crying. The earth moment, you know. They can't wait for the sons of the Most High to come back to power, you know. Yeah, verse 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subject the same in hope. That's, that's, that's speaking of, uh, of, 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 of the design of the Most High, Yahweh yeah, Shem Yahushai. It's been ordained. That we're subject to what we're going through right now, you know, not because of our will, but because of the will of the Most High Yahweh Shai. So, uh, yeah. Verse uh, twenty-one: Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. For we know 
that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now, and not only they, but ourselves also, which have the, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan with our, within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit, the redemption of our body. Can't. And you know, if you're in the right spirit, that's what you, that's the spirit you actually be, you know, groaning. Also, the, the book of um, Ezekiel tells you, you know, um, about the, the mark, you know, go ye into the city and all those that mourn for the, for the wickedness of this place, you know, yeah. spare them, you know. So if you're in your right mind, this place is, you, you'll be praying for this place to go down as real quick, as quick as possible, you know. So, hey, that's it. I hope uh, this was edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Shai. If you all got something else to add, mm, got something cool. else to add. So hopefully this lesson was edifying and would like to close it up by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai Ba'asham Ba'akadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel. Abad Baba Shalom. Shalom. Let me show you a little bit of the view. This is Aidan, man.